Hey guys, it's me, TechnoCode7. Um, well actually, now it's Techno Animated, technically. Um, I originally just changed it just so I can actually have a memorable username. Because a lot of people, whenever I tell them, Oh, uh, TechnoCode7 is my YouTube channel. They usually don't remember it and they have to ask me again. Um, so I just made it Techno Animated. Super simple. And it should be way easier to remember. Um, other than that, uh, let's get on to our video. So today, I'm going to try to draw three of my uh, greatest uh, creations, I would say. Um, oh yeah, by the time you're watching this, probably, it's probably already been like a week or two because I had like finals a bit back, and now I'm on like my break. So you know what that means? I got a lot of time to draw, so I might stream later. Um, so, with that going, um, first character, Evelyn, which should probably already be drawn on screen, um, yeah, I gave her a winter, um, I don't know if it's like a cloak of some kind, but I don't really know what the clothing is called, I just know it's very commonly worn, and it kind of fits her ice aesthetic that I'm trying to go for. Which really uh, should bring out the, I would say, emotion factor, I guess? I don't know if how to say it. <laughs> oh yeah, this was scripted. I'm just saying whatever comes to mind at this point, because scripting it just did not work for me. <laughs> it's like, I try to do a script, I sit there for a good two to three hours writing something, and then I completely go off script because I hate limiting myself. So, what am I doing? Free speech. Alright. <laughs> um, oh yeah, and I think I gave her a scythe. I'm pretty sure. Her scythe should, like, have these little gems on it, these three little protruding a icicle stuff on the back of it. I'm still trying to figure out how to make ice look good, so it might take me a while until I get the texturing correct. Um, but for now, I'd say it looks pretty good. Um, but it kind of currently just looks like a blue scythe with a bunch of funny blue rocks attached to it, which I'll change in the future. And now for the second one, we have Sylvie, I think. No, not Sylvie. Wait a minute. Is, is Charlie. So, Charlie, um, this character is a uh, non-binary character I decided to create because I feel like I need some diversity. So, this character is just a pretty casual person, they're chill, and I would decide to give them some pretty gender neutral stuff. Uh, so I gave them a sweater, which is a pretty average one, but I'm not very well versed in making ugly sweaters. So I just gave them a small, I don't know what to call it, uh, it's just some odd pattern on the sweater. And then we got the small little Christmas mug that has a little Christmas tree on it. I wanted to give it little ornaments, you know, because it's casually seen on the mugs as well. I tried to get some other inspirations by remembering all the Christmas parties I've been to in my life. And then I just tried to remember some kind of fun pose or something. And I'm like, what is one thing that a lot of my family does whenever we have like, one of these parties? Uh, sometimes they do cheers and stuff, you know, so where you get all the cups together, you clang them together, all the liquid pours into each other's cups and stuff, which is pretty fun. No one drinks, you know, and then next thing you know, you wake up and it's been 12 hours later. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just tried to base it off of, like, party stuff. Um, and for our final character, we have Alex. So, I'm working on an animation with this character, so I'm hoping that you guys, like, enjoy that when that comes out probably next month. Um, I do have like two weeks of break, so hopefully I'll be able to get that done in between getting two more videos out and published besides this one. I'm just really hoping that whatever I put as background uh, to this is fine. But anyways, um, doesn't matter. We're just gonna go and uh, talk about some of the details. So, Alex has this green sweater, and also if you're wondering what the odd twig is in his hand, because, yes, it is a twig, not what you're thinking. And it has a fireball attached to the end. This is, like, stoked from his own, uh, powers and stuff, and basically he always has that constantly ablaze. There is no way of putting it out, well, actually there is, you just throw water on it, but he will write it, uh, will relight it the second that it does go out. Unless he is sleeping, then it just does not go out. The other thing I wanted him to do, because I was, like, while I was making all this stuff, 
I was listening to The Greatest Showman. Like, the song, This Is The Greatest Show? That, that song, I don't know. There's like the reimagined version by uh, Panic! At The Disco that I've been listening to. Um, I don't know, I found it one day during an animatic I was watching. And I was just like, yo, this music's awesome! And I just kind of joinked some things that, I, that came to mind. So I was just like, all right, we have his arms out, like as he's the conductor, the um, instructor. Um, I don't know what the ringmaster. Yes, that person. Yes, the ringmaster. Yes. Um, he has his arms extended out, like he owns the place. Um, and then I had the entire background later on, which you'll see, um, laced in circus uh, attire, I guess, uh, which which explains the candy cane looking background thing. So it looks like it's a circus or something, because you know the big tops usually have like a red and yeah, a red and white look to it. So I tried to have it where, where it looks like they're standing on like a stage, and um, and then I added snow because you know winter. Anyways, um, that was my uh, three characters that I wanted to uh, get drawn. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm recording this pretty late, and I'm. I'm gonna try to make uh, the animatic and hopefully that other video uh, pretty soon. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed my content, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!